know, possibly from, you know, when you're in high school or, or at FFA probably being the most recognized. Skills USA used to be VICA, Vocational Industrial Clubs of America. Uh, it just simply changed the name to Skills USA, and that is 11 out of our 15 programs. So it is by far the largest club that we have represented. So we thought, who better to hear about the what it is, how it works, and why it's important than two of our current students. This is Harry Douglas and Harrison Douglas and Mackenzie Morris, both sports rehabilitation seniors, and they like to. Uh, Share some things with you. So good morning. Uh, like Mr. Stuart Cox said, I'm Harrison Douglas. And this is Kenzie Morris. Okay, so basically what Stone USA is, is the CTSO organization of Live Oaks. And every student that is in a career tech lab that has to do with Skill USA is a member. But it's your choice if you want to be an active member or a passive member. <laughs> um, at this time, um, so uh, kind of point of skills, um, there's over 13,000 chapters um, in 50 states, uh, and it's across the nation, so it's nationwide. But each of those skills breaks down the level. So we have like our local chapter, and then we have like our regional chapter. Ohio's divided up into four chapters: Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, and Southeast. We're in the Southwest portion of Ohio, so that's like your regional. Then you have your state, which would be Ohio, and then our national level, which would be all the United States. Okay, so how Skills USA works is every student that is an active member will have to come to chapter meetings, which our chapter is Live Oaks, and they will have to do workshops like if you're going to be preparing for a competition like opening and closing ceremony or business procedure, you're going to have to come to some workshops and put in some of your time outside of school. Um, another one of our big things is summer camp. Um, that is a student leadership uh, camp. Gets the Skills USA students a chance to get together over the summer, kind of coordinate things, kind of plan for the rest of the season. And then you also get some good like you know, personal skills with how to be a good leader, how to organize, plan percent things. Um, we do a lot of fundraising and giving back to the community um, of also and community service. Um, one of our big fundraisers we did recently was the Flying Dig Marathon. We were on the green team. We got to um, help the racers like you know collect the trash and like just clean up, you know, keep the like the racetrack clean. Um, and our next fundraiser or yeah yeah our next fundraiser slash volunteer opportunity will be with the Queen Bee half marathon and that's coming up on October 11th, yeah. So we'll be um, doing a half marathon, uh, kind of the same thing. I think this time it's going to be more of a first aid recovery station with food, drinks, and snacks post-race. Also for um, community service, this PowerPoint is geared towards students, because we're going to be presenting to all the juniors next week. But community service, a lot of homeschools have requirement hours that you have to fulfill. So when you're in Skills USA, you will be getting the community service hours that you need. So this kind of goes back to more like on like who we are. Um, we've been at active members in Skills since early last year when we first heard about it. Um, right now, since we don't have we haven't had a chapter meeting or set anything in motion yet, um, we don't have our chapter officers. So we are the SACs, which stand for Student Administrative Coordinator. So we're kind of <laughs> we, have, we, have, we, are, we are badge official. Um, I'll pass mine around to someone. <laughs> um, so we're kind of set. We have things set in order. We're kind of planning things, doing a lot of like the administrative side of things, as far as like sending out emails, getting our sponsors and our coordinators together. Um, we're planning the entire Queen Bee Half Marathon. Um, we have our teacher advisors, but um, they mostly leave the majority of the work to us and then just kind of fix our minor details. Okay, so what you get out of Skills USA is a big thing that a lot of kids like is scholarships because money is hard to find around here and your parents are like, you better pay for college. But um, scholarships will help if you place first through third. A lot of businesses will like, I don't know, give 
something, they'll give like prizes or scholarships to the kids that place first through third in any competition, like local, regional, state, national. So you'll be up on like this big stage and like get your name announced. It's really cool. That's where we got these medals. Yeah. Place third in the state competition for a chapter business procedure. That was a lot of fun. I mean, and with like the skills, events, and competitions, we do like a lot of travel. So you know, we will go to um, fall conferences coming up next. I think we're going to touch on that in a minute. But um, we'll go to Columbus for fall conference, and that's where all of Ohio is meeting together. Um, so we'll have all four regions meeting in the central capital, kind of get together and like coordinate skills for the rest of the season, I should say, school year. Again, what do I get out of it? A lot of scholarships and a lot of colleges will look at you because it's being in Skills USA is a really good line on your resume. So basically it's really good to look at you. Okay, so like what do I have to do? Um, this is this is geared towards our uh, junior population. Next week we have it um, set in motion to go around to the junior labs and speak with the juniors. Hey guys, we're seniors, uh, we're in skills. We try to get people active because you know once we leave we won't be here. And so we have like, like a predecessor, you know, someone to keep like skills going. Um, last year we had a pretty good <coughs> majority portion, um, but like this year we're trying to really really push early to get people to be active now instead of waiting around till like you know local competitions and stuff like that where everyone's trying to get everything crammed together and ready to go. Um, but if you want to join Skills, um, all you have to do is um, you know, let your local lab career technical teacher know um, since they're kind of like the coordinators for each of the labs and then that stuff gets brought back to us. So um, I feel like you know, if you want to be a local chapter officer or a regional or a state or a national officer, you can, do, you can apply for those things and they get voted on from a student body. Okay, so what Fall Conference is, is again, it's where everyone comes together in Ohio and it's a really fun time. Um, they have a lot of motivational speakers and free food. And <laughs> free food, um, oh, it's good. <laughs> it's October 30th through 31st and you'll be excused from school but you still have to like, make up your work, of course. And that's where the voting for the regional officers will kind of begin. And but if you're interested in being like, you know, for our student wise, if you're interested in being um, a chapter, or I should say, not a chapter, if you're interested in being a state officer, or yeah, regional or state officer, let me say that, um, they just have to take an online screening test for it to kind of like give them general knowledge about how much you know about skills so that people who are going into office actually know what they're talking about. Um, and that'll be on October 1st. So we'll have, as we talk to our juniors, those who are interested in going as officers or as a voting delegate, which you'll go through a, a quick hour training there and just show you how to vote. Um, each chapter gets a certain amount of delegates for the voting procedure. Now, because Live Oaks has Scarlet, Live, Diamond, and Laurel, we are allowed to have allowed to be present with ten. So they we go as Great Oaks, not as the individual schools. So we get the largest voting delegates in Southwest Ohio because we have four campuses, and most other career and career technical places only have maybe one or two campuses. <clears throat> Next biggest person is I think Miami C Miami Valley CTC, and they always come with like five or six, but we still have a majority of the votes on the floor for our size. Yeah, let's get the we just kind of talked about what that was a first student. Um, Oh, our Queen Bee Marathon, I was just touching on that, like I said, it's going to be on October 11th, and it's a great time for us to get back to the community and get some money for uh, the skills budget you know, as we're volunteering. Um, we've worked with them, like I said, in the past, and it's always been a great volunteer opportunity. Any questions? I'm sure someone has a question. Did you have a question? What got you guys interested in... Not only being in Skills USA, but, but being active coordinating yourself. Um, I'm interested in it because it looks like I'm in college and I like being involved in the school because I'm a really, I like being a leader. That's probably one of my strongest qualities. <laughs> I just... Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, I like um, 
like the administrative side of things as far as like planning stuff, you know, sending out emails, um, like being really responsible. I like having the accountability on my back because then you know that someone's always accountable for you. And I was always really active. Um, my homeschool was one SD. So I was always active on like the homecoming committee. Um, my mom was an active member on the prom planning committee. So I was on student council. So this gives me a good opportunity to kind of really advance my leadership qualities and abilities and have that accountability. Um, you know that someone needs me here or there, just like our deans that needed us today for the presentation. There you go. Like, we're there for it. So. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Yeah. What are you going to do next year after high school? Um, I'm planning to go to nursing school at UC and work at Children's Hospital because they saved my life this summer. So awesome. that's where I plan to go. Share that. Happy birthday. I was sick for a long time and finally cut me open. <laughs> so you're not going to do the horses? Uh, I am. I don't know. It's a lot. Nurse Brag school on yourself. You're like a national horse shower. Yes. I go across the nation yeah, and show my horse. National horse show. National horse show. Is that? Is that <laughs> yeah. I'm a national horse shower. <laughs> That's awesome. And Harrison, yeah. what are you going to do next year? Um, well, we're both in sports rehab, which is kind of like a pre-sports medicine, athletic training, orthopedic personal training goulash of things, <laughs> that's how I describe it. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. planning on well, attending Wilmington College for my first four years. I'd like to obtain my athletic training, um, cert well, it's a national, I don't know, I'd cert like to be an athletic trainer for like a high school or a collegiate sports team. And then I'm planning on attending Ohio State for an additional two years to get my PA, which is a physician's assistant, and that gives me some more flexibility as far as like working in the office or the clinical side of things, not have to be out on the field all the time. And then in, uh, is it 2034 you're eligible to run for president? Yes. If you're any of us still around to vote, Harrison will be running. This is my vice president. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really funny because in skills, that's how it was. Or, or, actually, Madam Secretary. But your secretary forgot Ashley. <laughs> you can't forget about Ashley. Good job. Right. Well, I have a question about running for regional office. I I'm thinking I thought about it, but I'm not sure if I would. You should consider it. Yeah. I, I think I'm just going to do it because, like, what do I have to lose? Right. Mm -hmm. the worst, the, right now, the answer is no. I think, I think you guys should consider it. <laughs> yep. We'll so, yeah. so, when you um, talk to the other students, the juniors, when they come in, um, how are you going to kind of convince them that this is the thing they, need, they should be doing to help further their careers? And also, you were saying that there's a time commitment, which is outside of school, actually, you know. Most kids that your age really want to play around and go to school a little bit, not always. So how are you going to convince them this is the best thing to do for their careers to advance themselves? I would say the best way to convince them would probably be the benefits of skills. Like we had said earlier, we have the scholarship opportunities, the chance to become a good leader, um, you know, just even learning business relations skills on how you know, when you get a job in a professional environment because next year these juniors are going to go in on placement, hopefully. And you know, they need to have the skills and ability to you know, communicate effectively with the boss. I mean, it doesn't matter what lab you're in. It could be HVAC, heavy equipment, auto. You still have to have those responsibilities and qualities to obtain a job. And a lot of times when you do place well or even go to a state or national competition, you will get like emails and emails of like job opportunities, like companies that want you. And, Really, when you come to Live Oaks, that's what you're here for. You're here to get experience and hopefully go on placement. And it's just a much mature, mature, more mature, more mature. <laughs> mature environment. Because when I was at my home school, I was treated like a little kid. And here, I'm expected to wear my uniform. I'm expected to treat my teachers, you know, nice. Even to add on to what she was saying, um, you know, like you are in a professional environment, and these big companies, when you go to these regional and national competitions, they're looking for people who really know about what their skill or what their trade is. And if they're interested in looking at you as a pre-college student, a lot of those companies will say, "Hey, you know, come on board, and we'll pay for your college for you. We like, you know, we like the work you can do." Um, I mean, even for like auto, I'm trying to, what else, what else is a really big, let me always look at, heavy equipment, like these bigger companies, you know, the industry companies, you know, are looking for people who actually have the skills to do it, and when you can prove to them right there at, as a junior or a senior that, yes, I can take apart this engine and put it back together, 
where I can't look at this me and figure out what's wrong with it. That really shows them like, wow, you've done a lot and you do deserve the position because in today's economy, jobs are, they're not given out, they're earned. earned. And if you can, you know, show the qualities and, you know, prove it, then you got it. We well, make a great point because I think um, a lot of people think you have to have that four-year college degree to get a job, and vocational students get more jobs today than some of those college degrees do. Well, and I think Live Oaks has changed a lot from what people used. To, I mean, yeah. you know, when I first applied, my mom was going, my mom was saying, you know, oh, you want to Live Oaks, and I had to explain to her like she had to come and talk to the teens. <laughs> she said, you know, she was in school. It was, you know, oh, it's for the people who. And she you know, still lets you come. She still had me come. Even if we're talking about I had to persuade her heavily. But, you know, when you were, when they were in school, I mean, they thought, you know, that was the place to it was, go. Oh, because, you're a yeah. druggy and you can't take mm -hmm. normal classes and you're not going to go to college. And that's not the case at all because Skills Jose really does push that, you know, go take the extra step. Even if you're only going to get your associates, you still have, a, you know, a two year collegiate background. Mm -hmm. And I know in our lab, for example, like, we're expected to continue on with our education. This gives us a nice prerequisite for it, but we're still expected to continue forward. Yeah, and my mom is like, I wish I would have sent my like older siblings to a career school because I have learned so much here, and I wish that I could come here in my freshman and sophomore year just because I love it so much. I love it here. It's kind of like my home. Like and, the they're staff here. and they're personable. Like the staff here is very personable, so it gives you a nice, warm, comfortable feeling coming in, knowing that you know you're not just. You don't, you're doing, you don't have the same teacher who's got eight bells and a crammed lunch pair and they're just, you know, rifling through the classes. It's, you can, you know, come after school, come before school, and the teachers are willing to help and talk to you. So it gives you that nice sense of, like, I'm home. That's what I just heard of that. Was. When do you guys go on the road? I was say, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. When, you need to like use, use that as a commercial, right? Do exactly. Commercial. That's what I'm saying. Do, do, do you Mark, have an opportunity to yeah. talk to your peers back at your home school? Yes. We, we used to have presentations. Uh, I was administrator at Princeton High School. But uh, seeing you two making presentations to sophomores, selling Correct technical education. I really think it would make an impact. When do they go out? Um, it, they'll be November, December, oh, January, go. and they both did go last year. Actually, Harrison went to three schools with me last year. Yeah, and, and I'm pretty sure. Mackenzie, to. you went to at least one. I think you went to two. When I went to the three schools and talked to those students, they were really interested. I'm trying to think. I'm not really sure who signed up, but I feel like the schools I went to, we got a very good positive feedback. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a possible. lot of people from my home school are in my career program, and they sure. love it. And I know a lot of people applied, and you know, I was like first come, first served, and like you had the best you know, qualifications. But I think after talking to the students, a lot of people did apply, and there's only those limited amount of spots you know, for what like, each career. That's, that's sort of a good job Yeah, because <laughs> we don't ever have a shortage. Yeah. Did you have a question? Any more? Anybody? Yeah. Did you have a question? Great. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks. 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 Thanks.